Hi all, welcome to linuxmix.com YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to install Fedora Linux. Uh, I'm going to install Fedora 17. I just uh, inserted my Fedora CD into CD-ROM and you can see there are two options. One is for troubleshooting nothing but rescue mode in uh, Red Hat Linux. The second one is installer upgrade. So uh, I'll just select the first one to installer upgrade. Yeah, it just uh, started uh, uh, installing the procedure. Uh, we'll wait for some time to unzip all the uh, initrd image and uh, vm linux image so that it will start uh, for uh, booting purpose. Yeah, uh, we are in the first slide of uh, installation uh, installing the Fedora. Uh, here we can select the language preference so that uh, entire your uh, installation procedure will be in this uh, language I'll go with the default one, the English I'll go with the default keyboard layout which is again US English uh, if you see here we have two options one is basic storage device the second one is specialized storage device basic storage device is nothing but your uh, hard disk and other things which are local to your uh, machine there are specialized storage device is nothing but your SAN, NAS box where you can install the OS on a remote uh, uh, drive actually. Uh, in most of the organization we'll go with the second option so that all your uh, OS and other uh, related stuff will be saved on a centralized location. Uh, but here for uh, installing general procedure I'll go with uh, uh, basic storage devices which is n which is nothing but your hard disk if you see it will pop up a window stating that uh, uh, it's a i mean uh, it's not a blank it's unpartitioned uh, something something like that you can um, discard this one um, uh, it's a new uh, virtual disk so you can in do whatever uh, we want so i'll just go with it um, s discard the data here you can select the machine name i'll select my machine name as ns1.linuxnix.com click next and here you can select your uh, default uh, location I'll select uh, my location as Kolkata India uh, here you can provide uh, root username and I mean uh, password so that uh, in future if any system related issues or you want to manage some system related stuff you can uh, use the root user uh, uh, credentials so I'll just go with uh, root password here you have to type two times actually in order to uh, match the first one and second one uh, yeah we are back with uh, disk related stuff if I select this one uh, your Linux will take care of creating the partitions and creating LVMs all those stuff by default it has a default uh, setup it will take uh, those default settings from this uh, uh, option if you select this one you can uh, reinstall a uh, already existing uh, Linux OS you can uh, even string the current system you can use the free space left after uh, installing already uh, existing a Linux machine or uh, Unix box uh, so I don't want to go any of these things I'll go with custom layout so that I can show you how to do partitioning and creating uh, uh, mount points and other stuff so so I have total uh, 8 GB of my hard disk is there so what I'll do is I'll start creating the partitions so I'll go with the standard partition not uh, RAID or LVM these are bit advanced so I don't, don't want to touch these things so I'll go with the basic uh, standard partition I'll select my mount point as slash which is uh, press, uh, um, main partition or main uh, mount point where all other mount points will reside so I'll go with uh, uh, 6 GB of uh, hard disk and uh, the file system is ext4 the latest uh, file system and uh, if you see there are so many options register sizing uh, uh, options like that I'll go with fixed one nothing but it will create whatever I given fill up the all space in the sense uh, you mentioned 6000 and here if you mentioned uh, more than that one it will fill up to this point 
which is of no use because yeah, I already mentioned here fix up fill to the maximum whatever uh, I provided here it will fill up to the maximum size it have if it doesn't have it will uh, try to go up to whatever uh, it can provide actually forced to be primary partition is nothing but you can make this as a primary partition I don't want to uh, do this one you even uh, even if we can encrypt the things actually encrypt the entire partition so I don't want to do that one as well I'll go with uh, the default settings click OK so I have 2 GB of free space again I'll create one more partition uh, which is for swap nothing but virtual memory I'll select uh, swap see if you observe I didn't uh, select this one by default it is saying not applicable so for swap there is no mount point but this is a partition so I'll go with uh, 1 GB of um, my swap partition so the remaining things are same as we did for previous slash so ok so I have uh, 6 GB of hard disk and uh, um, uh, main partition and 1 GB of swap partition so I'll go with next so it says like uh, it's going to format you are going to lose some data no need to worry it's a complete uh, brand new virtual disk so I'll go with format it so again it gives me one more uh, warning message stating that you are going to write the changes uh, write it so you can keep as the default on install bootloader device on I mean bootloader onto slash tv slash vda nothing but it will install at the mbr uh, and that uh, 5 12 bytes of starting of your hard disk you can even set the uh, bootloader password here if you want you can do that one I, I don't want to do the activity so I'll say next so here we have uh, uh, when you are installing the Linux we have many softwares to install we can install whatever software you require uh, but uh, they are divided into subcategories one is graphical desktop one is software development one is web server one is minimal like that so I'll go with graphical desktop and customize later options here remaining things like everything is uh, uh, defaults we can even customize it uh, let me show what will happen when you say customize it you will have all the applications like lined up for you to select so that you uh, once you select them you can uh, install them uh, without any problem so I don't want to do customize now I'll do it later because as of now I'm not sure uh, for what purpose we are going to use this one I'll I'm just installing this for a general purpose so I'll go with graphical desktop as well as customize later options so it's uh, just checking the dependencies yeah it's uh, initializing the starting procedures so it will take bit time to install this uh, software uh, what we'll do is once it started installing uh, I'll pause my video and I'll uh, I'll be back uh, before end of the installation nothing we no need to do anything between start and end of the installation it's totally like uh, we'll check for uh, different packages See, it's already started installing the stuff what I'll do is I'll um, come back once again uh, once it is uh, at the end of uh, installation we are almost uh, done with the installation uh, we are at uh, end I can say like it's just checking all the packages are uh, installed or not so still the last package is taking bit time so it may take uh, one or uh, two more minutes to uh, complete entire uh, stuff actually we'll wait some more time meantime like uh, before it completes installation I want to share something with you uh, uh, try to install as many times as possible if you are new to Linux 
then you will feel a bit easy uh, when dealing with Linux and other uh, OS. So it will give you complete picture and even it will make you familiarize with the installation process and other stuff. Uh, try to analyze uh, the other options as well. When you are installing multiple times, you have to check uh, what other options will do. Like w what I did for uh, uh, when a disk management is happening, uh, I showed what are all the options. You explore yourself what are the formats available, what is actually RAID and what is actually LVM, all those stuff. You try to explore it and uh, see um, you you can uh, uh, you'll have many like uh, uh, doubts or queries you can always post it to, to our uh, site as, uh, or uh, on youtube channels still taking some more time what i'll do is i'll uh, pause once again uh, we'll see like once it uh, gives me a restart button yeah we are almost uh, done the installation uh, click on reboot so that it will reboot and uh, it will show you the newer uh, uh, OS what we installed so if you see we can have a Fedora Linux installed Uh, when you install first time it will give you some uh, form kind of thing so that you have to a a agree with the things create user date time settings hardware profile all those stuff we will walk through the steps just say forward and license agreement you just say forward uh, you can give the u username normal username I can say So we'll go with the uh, next step, setting the date and time, yeah date and time is fine with me, forward and uh, hardware profile you can select it uh, where it will show you, uh, it'll try to like uh, uh, send this profile so that it will be helpful for pro uh, Fedora project actually so that uh, in future they will uh, try to take some reports or other stuff. So you can just say send profile or do not send. I'll go with the do not send profile. Say finish. Yeah. No, do not send it. Uh, say in this way. So it's just booting up. Yeah, we got our uh, first uh, screen. Enter Surendra's password. Sign in. We are almost uh, done with the installation. Uh, in our next video, we'll see some other uh, Linux operating system uh, OS installations. Stay tuned to more updates from LinuxNix.com. Have a great day.